three, two, one, go. Hi, I'm Tom, and this is Ming. Welcome back to the Solve Guys podcast. Today, we're joined by the second best Australian cube ever, Felix Amdegs, and we're going to be solving household chores. Oh, Whoa, seven yo. Seconds. Seven seconds. That's not bad. You missed out a couple of important things. Like? Well, the fact that we're going to solve the world's problems. Did you say that? We're going to solve the world's problems? Did you say that? As I said, this is Ming. I'm Tom. Hey, everyone. This is the Solve Guys podcast. We're two speed cubers. We solve these Rubik's Cubes, and now we're going to solve one of the world's Craziest problems. It's a problem that affects everyone, everyone who lives in a house. And yeah. that is household chores. Man, they're the worst. They are the worst. They are the worst. Like who wants to take the bins out? <laughs> like oh, touch I mean, garbage and filth. And I don't know. Like, I mean, like what you get as a result, like a clean, you know, better True. smelling house. Like that's nice. But then like you take it out and then within 24 hours, there's a new one. And then within 24 hours, there's another one that needs to be taken out. It's just, it's never, never ending. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Speaking of garbage, um, hey, hey. today we're, <laughs> today <not> we're joined. <laughs> Tom, like, I don't know how else to segue. <laughs> you didn't really leave it on a great note for Felix. I, I was going to say that we chose the ultimate solve guy, like capital S, capital G solve yeah. guy. Uh, 121 time Rubik's Cube world record holder. And all around, just a, a great guy, Felix M. Dex. Thanks, guys. Very excited to be on. Looking yeah. forward to it. Uh, really sorry for Tom's introduction. <laughs> uh, I would say that Felix doesn't need an, an introduction, but just in case you don't know who he is, uh, Felix was well. He was he was one of my biggest inspirations to get into cubing, and I think a lot of people can say that too. Uh, started cubing uh, from what what was it like two thousand and eight or, or something. Way, yeah, way back when. So, yeah, man, oh man. Back in the days of, I don't even know, <laughs> before, when you had to assemble cubes yourself. Yeah, and before, before when Australia cubes came, had ever even had a competition as well, right? That's yeah. And then yeah. was it 2010 yeah. that you sent that you set your first world record? That's that's yeah, that's the one. That's the one in Melbourne. Oh, cubing for two years sets but, his first world record. Uh, when did you set your first world record, Tom? Uh, well, <laughs> if doing the Soul Guys intro in 7.63 <laughs> right. seconds is a world record. Yeah, that was, right that was legit. That was, that was legit, legit fast. Yeah. So I had some competition impressive. nerves. Like I was shaking a little bit, but <laughs> we got through it. Yeah. Uh, but it need is- to watch the slow motion. Slow motion yeah, replay. The replay that. frame count that. <laughs> like just reconstruct. Re- it's, recon, it's reconstruct it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Words per second. Uh, but it's great to have have you, Felix. Uh, what's been happening uh, in in your world re- recently? Uh, recently, oh, first few months of the year had a few comps, yep. um, which has been nice. So mm. always in you know Oz, we uh, we have the big summer series of competitions. Um, yeah. You know Melbourne, Sydney, mm-hmm. other places, um, smaller cities. <laughs> um, so I went to a few of those. Did a bit of practice. We had some international guests. Yeah. Um, Coming here, uh, so Team On Team On came along to a bunch of those comps. So it's pretty yeah. exciting for all the locals to see some of that. And then, yeah, yeah and otherwise just a bit of work, mm-hmm. um, bits and pieces here and there, and uh, going to Taylor Swift this weekend. So it should be <laughs> good. Please say hi to her for us. That, that'll be <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. See, let you know what she's uh, what she's up to. Yeah, yeah, backstage passes. I'm guessing, obviously. Um, yeah, just going to head over to um, her, her room in Crown tonight, putting on a bit of a party um, beforehand, <laughs> just a few guests invited. <laughs> will, will you try and take a selfie, like, with her from where you are, from, from your seat? You know, if, like, <laughs> um, she'll probably be, like, one pixel uh, big sh- uh, in, in the photo. I was, li- I was literally, <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say, yeah, uh, see how we go. Maybe there's some, like, there'll be some, like, posters outside. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. With gigantic Taylor Swift on it, that might be a bit easier. Or the uh, big like jumbotron screen <laughs> will be like her face blown up, and then you and the like those concerts are you're like three kilometers away down the back, right? <laughs> Pretty much. I think this is like a hundred thousand people per concert. Oh so. man! But doesn't matter. You're breathing the same air as Taylor Swift, and yeah. that's what it's all about. <laughs> that's what yeah, it's all about. Hundred percent. Yeah, we'll definitely say hi to her for us. It's great to have you on. We're gonna solve a problem that will fix everyone's lives who are listening right now. So let's get into it. Before we get into defining this problem, we just want to say, you know what isn't a problem? Getting speed cubes with daily puzzles. So Mm -hmm. they sponsored this 
episode and the season of Solve Guys. So check them out. We'll be talking more about them later. Now, now household chores. Um, why not? What, what's what are you your you guys's? Is that even a phrase? What's what are you guys's? <laughs> you guys's is, is, is <laughs> least favorite the household, household chores. Guys's. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what, what are your least favorite um, um, household chores? So least the favorite. For you. Yeah. Least favorite, I think, was when I was in a share house mm. and we had to do gardening. Oh yeah. I no. despised. I just. I think it's. I think it's actually probably some people's number one. Yeah. Doing uh, the gardening, yeah, that's, but that's for me, true. it's 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 absolutely the bottom. Just like, just <laughs> you just get dirty. There's insects. It's hot. Yeah, you get sweaty. I don't know. I just. It's uh, just. It's just not fun. You have to touch grass and be outside and all that. I get yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably. I learned that. I learned that phrase. <laughs> I learned that phrase the other day. Touch grass. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, let's okay. go. I know, I know the Zoom is slaying. He's, he's, he's down. Felix is hit. People don't know it, but. <laughs> is that Literally like your, two weeks ago. Your new go-to when like someone breaks your OCR, you just like touch grass, kid, and cope with just, it like that. Yeah, yeah. get a lot. Get a lot. Get, life, get, get a job. <laughs> what are you, a kid? <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm probably one of those crazy people because I would say like one of my favorites is like going outside is, and is doing grinding, that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. mowing's like if you have some good music, that's wow. fine. Wow. You, you are a man of the land. Yeah. Tom, yeah. So what, what's your, your least favorite? Probably cleaning the dishes. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, like the, uh-huh. if you're doing the old school, like yep, yep. your hands get all wrinkly and hot yeah, and you like yeah. you feel like you're like getting dermatitis live <laughs> when you do it. You know, if, if yeah, you've got like, if you're like a big family, like Christmas lunch or dinner, yeah, right. Yeah. And then you have like all this, no, I can't deal. Yeah. I can't deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's cleaning the toilets for, for me. Oh. I mean, I don't think anyone, anyone Obvious likes that, one. but having clean toilets or the bathroom, it's, it's pretty bad. So, I mean, I, I had a look at um, a very reputable source of information, which is Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, and according to them, Australians, their 10 most hated household tasks. Um, number one is cleaning bathrooms, uh, followed closely by toilets and then dishes, ironing, laundry, all basically all the stuff that, that, that we mentioned. Yeah. People hate it. People hate doing it. Uh, and as we mentioned before, it's constant. That's, that's, a, that's a problem, right? If, if it was a one-off, like you just do it and then you, you, do, you do a good job of it and you're done, then sure, you know. But within by, in the, by the next day, yeah. the day after, it's happening again. Apparently, apparently, the average person, everything taken into account, will spend between two and three years of their entire lives nonstop, like doing <laughs> household chores. Jeez. So that's, that's nearly 20,000 hours of your life <laughs> spent cleaning. That you'll never That's get definitely, back. Uh, you'll de- never get back. <laughs> That's definitely what it feels like sometimes. Yeah. That's right. You feel like Just, the 20,000 hours in one day. Yeah. Especially like where w- I live here in Australia <laughs> in the summer. It, it yeah. like rains and the grass oh, like yeah, mowing. Yeah. Like yeah. you mow and then like four days later, it's, it's like back. up to your yeah. ankles again. Like, it's what? back. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, and that's not even mentioning like, uh, injuries that you can actually sustain. So people will get like, you know, repetitive uh, injuries, yep. tendonitis, uh, joint issues. Like it's, it's a medical thing. Right. With, like repeated house, house, just because of how, um, yeah, repetitive, like the motions are, it's actually something that for some people it's a health issue. So this is something that we and have got to solve. And it's just time that could be spent cubing. Exactly. Why? At the, end of the day, at the end of the day, you could be cleaning it's a big out your oppo- cubes. Big opportunity cost. Yeah. <laughs> big opportunity cost. How are you going to get that world record yeah. if you have to clean? That's exactly right. But I mean, hey, like you've spent a whole day at, at work or at school, right? And home's meant to be like you know where you relax, where you kick back. And it's like eight hours at work or school or whatever. You come back and it's like, come on, a few more hours of doing the dishes or vacuuming. Like that's not what you want. So we have uh, a very big carrot that we're dangling in front of our listeners today because if you finish this episode, you will never have a problem with household chores ever again. No, like what? Ever again. <laughs> Your life will be at least we like promise. 75% easier after listening to this podcast. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed all your money back. Yeah. <laughs> 30 day guarantee. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's solve that problem. Hold on, I'm... I'm getting a call from SolveBot. Hey, Solve Guys. It's good to be back. 
Shout out to all the SolveBot 3000 fans. I definitely I've been reading the comments, so I know you're out there. And also, huge welcome to Felix Semdegs, aka Foz Rules. I'm a big fan, been tracking your progress since your early days on the old masterthecube.com forum. What can I say? I know greatness when I see it. All the best with your solutions today, and may the best solve guy win. Yo. Okay. I mean, that's the internet for you. Oh, wow. She's been keeping she's been keeping tabs on you since. Did AI even exist back then? <laughs> well, I guess oh, wow. That's some amazing. Like 3000 did. Wow, it's been around for a while cuz back then I guess it was like black and white TV that you were cubing on, right? Horse and carriage. Well, it, was, yeah, it, was yeah. black, it was black and white cubes. <laughs> it was black and white very cubes. hard. Six sided. They still. hadn't released colored cubes hard. yet. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it was yeah. very hard. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, yeah, SolveBot 3000, uh, our resident AI bot, is going to be deciding who has the best solution today. Um, so let's let's get into it. Um, is is it all right if if I start? Go. Yeah. Go for all it. Right. Uh, my solution is is simple, which is why SolveBot. Uh, 3000 is going to choose it. My solution to household choice is, is that why they're going to choose it. Robots. Oh. It's machines. Again, oh, you just pan every single to episode. Solve bot. Yeah. No, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> when when you hear the solution, you will agree to that it is it is sure. superior. So Go ahead. we already know about a bunch of robots and machines that do stuff for us, right? Like there are robot vacuums, dishwashers, and and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, but why why stop there? Yeah, in the same way that we, you know, we don't use washboards anymore. We use washing machines. We don't boil water over a fire. We use kettles, right? It's a right. thing. Let's use robots to replace every single thing that we do. Everything. Even podcasts or? <clears throat> no, 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 no. Okay, that, okay, that's right, not right, right, our, sure. our job's safe. Yeah, yeah right, right. So with a house, you know, robot vacuums, right? That's just this like motion where they're moving around and then they're like sucking up stuff. They're cleaning things. Since, you know, that, that happens well with our floors, you may have heard of this already. We've now got robot lawnmowers. Have you seen oh, them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen that. Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah, clever, like smart robot. They're just like robot vacuums, but for your yard. They know what they're doing. They can like map out the entire lawn uh, or, or just go like back and forth until the whole thing is done. Bang. And apparently you can use that same technology even for like windows. So like window cleaners, they've got like suction or magnets or whatever. Huh. And they'll just go like up and down the windows and just like completely clean it for you. I've seen little like robot vacuums that can also clean your bed. It's a little rechargeable thing. You use like a UV light or something just goes like under the sheets, just goes like up and down, up and down, like does, does your entire it's bed. It's literally a bed bug. It's, like, <laughs> it's <literally laughs> going in and cleaning. <laughs> it's literally huh. a bed bug. That's right. And it doesn't bite, which is, which is the best thing of all. That's a bonus. Um, you know, some of the things that we said before that, that, that we don't like. So for example, I hate cleaning toilets. Mm. Guess what? I found a robot called uh, Giddel. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's a robot toilet cleaner. And you it apparently fits any toilet bowl. I mean, you can apparently order one that like fits a more like oblong shaped toilet seat or like a round toilet seat. What, what shape's your toilet seat actually? Tom? Oblonged. I don't, I don't, I don't want to sure know. Oblonged. <laughs> I don't think I Without wanted to know the answer to that. I'm so sorry I asked. Uh, it hangs off the Is seat. Is it cleaning? No, is it no, it's cleaning, cleaning the bowl. You, yeah, yeah, it's cleaning the bowl. Is it's cleaning cleaning the bowl and in the liquid and down uh, into the drain, down well, to the in, pipe as well, in, or is in, it? Uh, I don't think it goes all the way down. It's got this like brush. It's not a like, submersible. No, it's not like <laughs> a little <laughs> submarine that like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> break and detaches off and goes all the way down your pipe. But I mean, again, it it, ex yeah. it exists. So I mean, here's another another mm. thing which I'm not a big fan of: ironing clothes. Mm. Right? Um, you know, I used to. Uh, have to iron like a lot of like button up shirts, like long sleeve, you know, dress sort of more formal stuff. And it just took ages. Um, introducing, <laughs> sounds like I'm, we're sponsored. Introducing dun, dun, dun. Effie, E F F I E. It's an ironing machine. It's uh, apparently it's not out yet. Uh, it's currently with a global manufacturer. So they're hoping that it'll, you know, appear in stores soon. But it's a, it's a size of like a bookshelf. So like, you know, big ish. But you hang your garments on it. You can hang up to 12 garments of different sizes. Uh, like this compartment that just like opens up. One, The first garment like slides in, it closes and it heats and just steams it. Wait, that's just like, you know, when you go to a buffet and they have the automatic toast thing where you put your bread in yes. and it slides yes. along that, to make that's toast. It. That, that's it's just it. that for clothes. And they did that for clothes. It eliminates huh. odors and everything. And then when it's done, apparently it's like three minutes per garment. It, the doors open on the other side. It comes out, and then the next one goes in. 
So you can okay. hang like 12 shirts there within like half an hour. Done. Completely done. That's it's, cool. It's funny that you say that because I reckon literally one month ago, uh, I was researching this and it came, it came up with Effie as well. Because yeah, <laughs> I can't go. stand doing I can't stand doing ironing. And also, whenever I iron anything, it's just I just don't do it that well. Like the technique, my method, my algs, it's just it's not very <laughs> it's good. Not so good. it just ends up being like yeah. not half, optimal, half right. decent. It's not finger trick. And then this me. one yeah. yeah, I saw this one, but yeah, it looks like uh, it's not it's not released yet, pre-release. So yeah, okay. unfortunately. Also, it's like nearly two thousand oh, dollars, but you know that's not relevant. Hey, well, maybe <laughs> oh, oh, us crap. giving Effie a bit of free <laughs> yeah. promotion on the Solve that's Guys, right. we can get a discount code. We can give that to you, Felix. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we'll all have Effies. Oh, yeah, true. true. Yeah, uh, we are really not sponsored by Effie. I, I, I need to say, <laughs> Get us off. Uh, that's right. I, and and one last one. So another thing which I'm not a fan of, like folding clothes. I, I basically just like when my clothes come, like if I, if I don't need to fold them, I just like scrunched up with it, just like thrown into the drawer. It's like, I'll, I'll think about it when I actually take it out. Introducing fo- Foldimate. Foldimate. Uh, it is released in 2019. Released in 2019. <laughs> Foldemort. <laughs> Foldemort. That was such a wasted opportunity. That would have been so much better. Uh, but it apparently can fold almost anything within seconds. So shirts, pants, towels. Uh, oh. uh, suits, robes. You 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 like feed the shirt in at the top, and then like within a few seconds, it's like blah blah blah, and it just like plops out at at, at the bottom. Brilliant. Interesting. <laughs> There's only one slight <laughs> uh, caveat, which is that the company filed for bankruptcy oh. uh, a couple of years ago. Because why? No one was. That sounds like no such was, a it, profitable it business. No one wants <laughs> like a <laughs> ten how much, uh, how much was? How much was? Fo- <laughs> How much did Foldermort cost? Oh, it cost ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Everything. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just two metal panels that just go like they just like flip up, and the clothes falls. That's all it is. They, they fold all the clothes just in half. <laughs> like that's all it was. <laughs> uh, so yeah, okay. Look, I'm 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 not gonna hide it. Uh, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. These robots will be very expensive and probably out of the reach for <laughs> everyone. But I mean, you know, we've said this before in the podcast. Just don't be poor. Just like yeah. stop being poor and just get, get these that things bag and, and stop fix your life. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Anyway, that's that's my solution. Uh, love it or hate it, I, I I stand by it and solve bot, please. please I, I I do really choose, like it. Choose my solution, please. Solve bot. Thank you. I've always uh, you know I'm with the robot thing as we've seen in other episodes. I'm hoping one day the WCA allows that so we can get like that robot that solves it in a tenth of a second, mm-hmm. beat all the records, no more Felix. Felix won't even show up to the comp because it'll just be a bunch of like little AI bots. Like, Wow, that's a real dis- the cubes. dystopian. That would be so entertaining, future. I think. Okay, that's great. Yeah, like, I need a robot to, what do I need a robot to do at comps? Sign what, sign the scrambles, uh, do the scramble signatures <laughs> yeah. for me. The very suboptimal picking down, put, picking up the pen, putting it, yeah. putting it down, blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, signing signing cubes, the robot would be good. Yeah. Uh, Scram- scrambling checking cubes. scrambles, checking scrambles. Yeah. Scrambling, that might be a big check one. the scrambles. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that would be good. Um, question for question for Tom. Uh, I'm unfortunately yet to watch a solve, guys, but I will and fully plan to. How many times has Ming proposed robots as the solution? Pretty much every episode. Pretty much okay. every episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's always just like, oh, here's this imaginary app that I'm going to make. Oh, that's not true. It's like, I was oh, drinking, but, sorry. Uh, somebody already <laughs> had this idea and they went bankrupt, but here's my new version of it. That's pretty much every episode. <laughs> Don't come crying to me when Solvot chooses my solution. All right. Anyway. I like it. No. <laughs> Thank you. Felix likes it. I like it, it and. So and the, there you go. it sounds like uh, sounds like you've done the research, and these robots already exist <laughs> to some extent, and they're thriving. Uh, <laughs> they're thriving. <yeah. laughs> Just they're like flying off the shelves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey Ming, here's a problem. There has to be a bunch of people listening that don't think that they can solve a Rubik's cube. What would your solution to them be? The solution I think is easy. Just give it a go. I have a bunch of puzzles in front of me right now that I can solve, but just a few years ago, I didn't even know what they were. But do you know what my first step was? I went online to dailypuzzles.com.au and I ordered myself a 3x3 speed cube. One thing led to another. I now have a 2x2, a 5x5, a Mega Minx, a Pyraminx, 
I even have a rabbit. What is this? <laughs> All of these puzzles and way, way, way more are available at dailypuzzles.com.au. They have fast, helpful customer service, ship internationally, so no matter where you are, you can order your first cube today. Not just that, they've given us, just for our listeners, a special discount code, SOLVEGUYS. If you put that into dailypuzzles.com.au's checkout, you're gonna save money, and who doesn't want what? to save money? It's so simple. So thank you to Daily Puzzles for sponsoring this episode. And now back to the video. Okay, now after that just stellar, stellar solution, Thanks, we want to hear from our guest, mm -hmm. Zelix Femdegs. What have you got for the Solve Guys today? Mm. All right. Well, uh, I haven't done quite as much as much research as Ming, so you have to forgive me if this is a, a little bit of a haphazard put together solution. No um, need to apologize. Less, a little bit less creative, less imaginative, but. Um, the first, the first thing I thought of, and maybe it helps with the Tingman Man clickbait uh, in relation to a video last year, but just have like five kids and d make them do all the chores. <laughs> okay, um, that's like a that. uh, yeah. that's a that's a long term, you know, yeah. not uh, immediately implementable solution. It's um, tried and true though. That's age old. It like it's not. People <laughs> have been doing that. But you think that ever since I had kids, the house is cleaner. True. It doesn't work. I'm telling True. you, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, you're just not disciplining them enough. It doesn't work. Exactly. I think it's the it's the parenting that's the issue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So, but that's, yeah, that's a very, you know, that's a distant horizon uh, solution. Yes. Yeah. Not, imme not immediately implemented. Bit cruel, maybe. Bit um, cruel as well. So, so. my, oh, uh, no, you, I don't know. You pay the pocket money or something. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> feed them every few, so my, few days, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make, yeah. Um, my my solution was instead of um, instead of doing chores more efficiently or, or better, mm -hmm. um, try and just prevent doing them all together oh, where possible. The old <clears throat> prevention's better than cure. So you know, there's there's fifteen. I don't I don't know the the official chore list, chore yep. count, uh -huh. 15, 20 ch possible chores in the world. And you yep. know, if you're in a big house and got lots to do, there might be 20, there might be 20 chores, right? Yep. Endless. I reckon. Endless. I reckon. Endless. I think you yep. can say. It's like every year there's Endless. a new chore coming out. It's like, did you hear the new <laughs> chore that they released this year? <laughs> it's the GAN chore. <laughs> um, uh, limited, limited edition. Um but I reckon we can cut it down to like honestly, like oh, two or three essentials. Um, How? <laughs> just the main ones. <laughs> you, you still get uh, to propose just, a solution. <laughs> just the main ones. All right. So I say prevention is good as a chore. And look, some of these are half measures. It's not like I'm completely eliminating the chore. Yeah, Obviously, okay, that's yeah, like yeah. impossible. Yeah. Um, we're not here to do that. We're just uh, here to make your life better. So, <laughs> yep. for example, for example, my 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 hated chore was gardening when mm -hmm. I when I had to do that. Yep. Um, parents had a bit of a backyard. I actually didn't, honestly, didn't really do uh, any gardening ever in my parents' place. Then I had, was in a share house, a couple of share houses, yep. and and we had to do we had to do gardening here and there and mm -hmm. pull out weeds and stuff and no good. So instead of doing that anymore, I just don't have a garden. So I live in wow. an apartment. Easy, bang. Genius. How many that's, years of your life? How many how many years of your life do you save by doing that? That's actually quite, next one. That's for example, quite a big brain. Yep. If you don't like, if you don't like ironing, yep. Don't wear clothes. Get some oh. nice. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Even better. Well, that would be if you don't. I'm, I'll get to that. If you don't I'm like, you're going to say that on the record. Hold on, pause, Felix. <laughs> be careful no, 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 what no, no, you no. say. Okay. So there's tier tier one. Tier one is if you don't like ironing, get yep. some nice iron iron free shirts. There's oh yeah, of those out there. They like do a good job. Wrinkle iron resistant free. kind of kind of clothes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. nice. Um. And then, uh, yeah, there's the next tier, which is if you don't like washing clothes and hanging them up and putting them away, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just, just don't, don't <laughs> resort clothes. to the archaic cl or, clothless or, society. Or just own fewer. Yeah, I mean, you know, there are, I'm sure there are ways that you can just like wear the same thing a few days in a row if you don't sweat too exactly. much. Exactly. Well, Ming actually someone. always <laughs> rocks up in the same clothes to yeah. these podcast <laughs> sessions and they definitely haven't been ironed or washed. Like I can tell you from the smell. <laughs> They can just check the previous episode and see that's not even true. Make your lies more like For the audio, the audio listeners, <laughs> yeah, Ming okay. has grown out his beard. 
He's been staying in this room wearing yeah, the same right. clothes. I, I live here in, in this recording room now. Yeah. That's pretty good. Though, uh, Alex, yeah. But this is only the start, though. Oh, um, wow. So no, if you please, don't like, continue. If you don't like cleaning your toilet, then... <laughs> I don't even want to hear what you're doing. Go on, go on. <laughs> then, you know... Normally, most of us, at least during during the weekdays, have might have some kind of school or work or somewhere to go to, um, <laughs> or there's or there's somewhere nearby where there's like a it's like a shopping center or something like that. Some That's some kind of so public, <laughs> some kind of publicly publicly available facility um, to <laughs> to go just, to the toilet. Just and so do some really good public just, floor exercises. <laughs> Honestly, hold, just go, just go and use, in. just go and use that. Hold it in, hold it in, and uh, and your and, toilet will never be dirty. That's brilliant. But that's and just you spend like the first twenty minutes of your work day clean that. Though. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not like, you. Do you want to clean the toilet, yeah. or do you want to double it and give it to the next person? <laughs> double and exactly. give it to the next person. So, <laughs> I, I haven't, I haven't got to what we do with the like. Obviously, you still have a toilet in your house. Maybe you let's save it for guests. I suppose if you were oh, yeah, special yeah. occasions, like emergencies, etc. <laughs> we're not we're not saying don't ever use it, um, but just you know, be a bit more thoughtful. Is, um, is, is this why same. whenever Tom comes to my house, he's on the toilet for like two hours? <laughs> he's just yeah. doing like <laughs> holding up for one, a week, one week's worth. <laughs> I actually yeah. wait until I go and stay at Ming's <laughs> yeah, okay. every month for a competition. And it, it makes sense now. I haven't had to clean my toilet just, in years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just such big reward and very little downside. No cost to that. I As, love that. Um, That's cutting edge. Usually most people like, uh, I think the consensus is people don't like doing their business in public and mm-hmm. they actually like to come home to yep. the comfort. But this is flipping that on its head. I think yeah. that's... It's, it's actually avant genius. garde, yeah. actually. Mm. You can do that with dishes too, right? Like if you don't like washing dishes. Just don't dishes. eat until you go to someone else's house. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe not eat, but like. Pa- paper, paper plates. Yeah. Paper, paper plates. plates. Yeah. Okay. That's part of your solution as well. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, like, they're, they're quite like, a few buy, meals. Buy a, degra- buy, buy a degradable, yeah. you know, sustainable. Paper you yeah. Put them in. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, you can also but, just use fewer dishes, right? Like mm. when you're serving, serving food up. There are, there's quite a few times that I'm pretty aware of just how many plates and or little bowls yeah. that I'm using, how many pots and pans I'm, I'm using while I'm cooking, and I'm like, it could be so much more efficient mm. in the way that I'm, you know, preparing stuff. But I love that. Keep going, Felix. If there's um, if there's more instances you have for us, I love it. Uh, I reckon. Well, it. What are the bare essentials then? So washing clothes. Probably, if you if you're wearing clothes, like we should we should wash them and. So I think it's pretty hard to cut that out, but uh, maybe that's for a future episode. We'll have a think. Okay. <laughs> Vacuuming, like like d- dust, just just hap- just happens. Yes. And so I don't know where it comes where it comes from. Like I guess the ceilings or the walls or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, vacuuming probably has to stay um, in some capacity. But that's pretty much what it boiled down to, to be honest. Well, so or- just eliminate most. Just I get like rid that. of most it's- of them. And it's like minimalism. It's like mm-hmm. the smaller you live, the yeah. the the less you have to do to maintain that. Yeah. Well, I mean, like you've done that, Felix. Like if you've moved to, to an apartment, you've got less area that you need to vacuum. Yep. Yeah, true, true. Just, yeah, uh, yeah, just go full tent mode. and It's um, just all the, the trophies and medals on the wall that you have to polish every day, I'm guessing. The trophy dust, cabinet dust of yeah, cubing. Yeah. yeah. Cubing. Accolades. It's hard. It's very hard. It's hard, hard life. life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I, can I say that's awesome. actually a really good solution? Yeah, no, that's super practical. Anyone yeah. can do that. Just like mm-hmm. don't make such a, a big mess for yourself to clean. Yeah. Prevent it before yeah. before that happens. Yeah. I'm not sure about the toilet one. That's a little insane. <laughs> and for the audio listeners, I couldn't really breathe before. That really <laughs> took me by surprise. Um, I just, I love that mentality of like, it's someone else's problem to clean my business. So (laughs) shout out to all the people that are cleaners for a living. You are really doing the hard yards, especially for Felix (laughs) Mdex on record now. And you're keeping them in a job, supporting the economy. You know, it's good. It's brilliant. (laughs) There's so many secondary benefits. What would they do without us? Yeah. Amazing. Uh, do you want to, do you want to hear a, a a good joke? What 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 why are what are two reasons why you should never drink out of a toilet bowl? 
I don't know. What are they? Number one and number two. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Solution number three comes from our very own Tom. What do you have for us? Well, I started in the same mind as Felix that mm. you know, the chores aren't going to go away. Yep. And I do like your robot answer, but I mm-hmm. think we're not there yet. Okay. So in the meantime, until robots take over, uh, I think we just have to do our chores. So my solution is boo, boo. To, uh, to make them more fun, to gamify them ah. or multitask and reward yourself to make them more fun. Okay. So okay. It, it kind of goes in line with what Felix was saying as well. It's just a, a bonus on top is um, one thing, you know, for, for kids, obviously, if you're a parent, you have the pocket money thing. Yep. You have the, mm-hmm. you know, when you trick a, a kid to like do something by like telling them, like, I'll time you. Like go, <laughs> go take the vids out, I'll time you. Uh, <laughs> that like might work a few times on your kids, but after a bit, like you're going to have to make it more fun. I just say my kids sometimes listen to this podcast. So oh. I'm, I'm not tricking you guys. I love you guys kids, very if much. You're listening, that's I'm actually <laughs> one of the best games it's ever. It's so good. It's I so only good. do it because I care. So much fun. I should have done it more. <laughs> so some people are some people Felix are really motivated by times and mm-hmm. how fast they can do things so yeah. I think I could probably coax you really well if I was like hey Felix get a sub four on washing oh, the dishes you'd be yourself. like oh. you'd be like I'll show Max Park and you'd be like scrubbing as hard as you could and yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting yeah. some dishwashing glory right yep, yep. so that's one of my things once that wears off on kids you, you know you could create like a bingo sheet for them or mm-hmm. like some sort of a timetable yep. but make it more fun right give yep. them little gold stickers yep uh, which also leads into the rewarding yourself. So mm-hmm. you might want to be rewarding them with like pocket money or whether it's just stars or food or then <laughs> food. If Right? Some people like that. And then if it's something you're doing <laughs> yeah. for yourself to hold yourself accountable. Yeah. Just be like, once I've done this chore, I can watch an episode of my show or I can, solve guys. Listen, can listen to the Solve to Guys yeah, again. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Would, no, it's like after I've done my chore of listening to the solve guys, then, then can I can actually like something, yeah. watch like a Felix Zemdex video or something mm-hmm. fun, yep. something to break yeah. off the tension. Wow. That's how good. Would, how, would you, how would you best reward yourself, uh, Tom? Probably like- After, uh, after doing a chore, what do you <laughs> want? Probably like Cube Skills 7x7 tutorial with Felix Zemdex. <laughs> oh man, that, that's really good. <laughs> Center, centers or edges? Yeah, probably the set. It's got to be the centers video on that like white background with like the terrible audio quality. <laughs> Those videos are amazing. <laughs> that wasn't terrible audio quality. <laughs> and you still had like the little da, da, the Justin da, da. Bieber cut. I love that. I can't remember the music just, and everything. Uh, just it's putting out the content. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll revive that all one day. No, no, you were saying before that your your best reward is watching a Tingman video. Is yeah, it, is, is no, it? I was definitely not saying that. <laughs> yeah, <actually>. But um, <laughs> no, that can be the opposite. If you don't do it, then you've got to watch a Tingman video. It's the video. punishment, yeah. right? Which we've uh, is leads back to the procrastination episode we did, mm. where punishment and rewards, yeah, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. we have to hardwire our brain like that yeah. to get stuff done. Yeah, but uh, one thing I personally do is like, um, I have like a a podcast I want to watch or like a live show or something. And I'll be like, okay, while I listen to that, I'm going to knock off some tasks oh, or chores that I can do in the background. Yeah. And then it's like the chores, usually, you know, it's like pretty, most of your chores are going to be general stuff you've done tens, mm-hmm. hundreds of times, right? So that becomes the background. Yeah. And then you can focus on your show and enjoy that while doing something, right? Multitasking. So multitasking, trying to make it uh, fun or interesting for yourself. That's what I do. Yeah. And that's what, um. yeah. Unfortunately, like if I want, if I had to like, watch a Ting Man video. I couldn't like watch a Ting Man video and a video I like at the same time. But that's, I'm pro- uh, maybe a new thing with one ear on each might be, could be cool. That doesn't- ex- program something new, but. Well, that doesn't explain. Every time you come over to my house and you're on the toilet, I normally, it sounds like <laughs> I hear Ting Man videos from the toilet. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that your preferred? I like uh, use the sound waves to clean the toilet bowl. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's <great. laughs> Here's something you you could do, Tom. If speaking of multitasking, mm-hmm. uh, so the vacuum's in one hand, right, and you're just going around on the in the uh, the other hand. Oh wait, mm. a dumbbell. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. I, I thought you were going another way, like a Bible or. Oh, I mean, they're pretty heavy. Or like a Rubik's cube. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things you could do while you're vacuuming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, yeah. 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 Maybe I could do be like chin ups and then like. 
feet solving at the uh-huh. same time. Yeah. Or like, have you seen the um the uh the like the Apple Vision Pro where they gamify vacuuming? Yes. Yep. They have like some like I don't know mm-hmm. some graphics and you have to like vac- make sure you vacuum all the spots and collect the coins. It's That's legit so good. gamified it. If yeah. I had that for my kids, my house would be like spotless. Exactly. If I had that for my kids, which I don't, if I had kids and then I had that, yeah. I wouldn't even <laughs> need to see them anymore. I would like yeah. lock them in a room, give them Apple Vision Pros, wow. and like just put them in like Minecraft and let them fend for themselves. And, and then I could do fun stuff. Well, like, well adjusted humans. <laughs> yeah. All right. The time has come. Yeah. The uh, most important part of every the episode. The most important part. Uh, can I exert my dominance and show uh, Tom who the superior Cuba is? Yeah. If you're new here, every episode we do a little race. Uh, it's not see, a little race. It's a big it's, okay, race. It's like probably the, it's the huge. best part of the every episode. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be solving these cubes with one hand. One-handed. Because yep. Ming and I are a little faster at that. And uh, well, I'm, a little I'm closer faster. to each other, I mean. Yeah. Uh, and, I do uh, have a secret weapon today, though, uh, which is that a couple of weeks ago, I, I released a... I don't want to make a big deal about it. New new line of Ting Man uh, products. Ting that Man is merch. terribly ugly. What my face? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, that's a nice quality <laughs> mat. Well, yeah. and where w- would you buy one of these if you wanted? I mean, Daily Puzzles. <laughs> I don't want to make oh. it all about me, but if you go to dailypuzzles.com.au, you can buy some Ting Man Ting Man products. Um, and so I'm going to use this mat, and just the color, it's it's going to speed me up today. Okay. I, I just like, just wanted to say that. Oh, personally, I wouldn't ever like put the cube on the table during one hand. Like, I'll just be holding it up the whole time because I don't. Oh, same. Table abuse. Table, table abuse. Like is, no, no, that's not. Um, Felix has uh, is he's pretty good at one handed solving as well. Yeah, he's all right. Like, uh, you probably have a few records. Maybe I actually love that WCA page of just like 2023, 2023, <laughs> and then 2015. Felix Zemnix. You're seeing that still. It's like <laughs> eight years out of place from the so rest good. of them. <laughs> So good. Uh, ahead of its time. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. Are we Are we ready, gentlemen? I guess so. Yes. Ready. All right. Got your engines. Oh, hands on. Yeah. Okay. Fine. And, hands and, on the mat. Hands on the mat. Yeah. No. No. We can do that. All right. Here we go. Three, oh, okay. two, one, go. Ooh. Oh yes. Oh. Oh, guys, this is my first solve of the day. I don't like how quickly Tom's moving that cube. I'm on to PLL. No. Come on. Uh, come on, Ting. Oh, oh, oh so wait, close. Why was that so oh. close? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, another <sighs> win. I mean, Felix technically won, but like, that's not fair. That's not fair. It Between is us two, I'm still. I came close, though. The undefeated world champion. Wow. Uh, I <laughs> guess that's two my. People. The world champion <laughs> between two people. Uh, it, it, it'll come. I, I appreciate uh, everyone in the comments who is still team uh, team. No main. one has ever commented um, that I, ever. I, I just want to like, promise, I promise you by the end of season two, we will taste victory. The sweet taste of victory. Not, not just any victory, but the, the defeat of Tom. There'll be nothing sweeter. Hello, Salt Guys and Felix. Good job on your proposed solutions, but now it's my turn to evaluate them based on the criteria of being realistic, logical, and creative. While Ming's idea of using robots to automate household chores is logical and would certainly address the problem, the high cost and non-existence of certain required machines make it less realistic. It's a creative solution but lacks immediate feasibility for many households. Felix proposes a practical and realistic approach to prevent the need for dislike chores in the first place. Employing alternatives like iron-free shirts and minimizing dish usage encourages individuals to adapt their lifestyles to minimize the burden of chores, which is a feasible and accessible strategy for many. Tom's solution of multitasking and gamifying chores can add an element of fun to the tasks, but it may not address the underlying issue of disliking chores or necessarily make it any more enjoyable. Oh. Given these considerations, Felix's solution stands out as the oh, best choice. Congratulations, and I look forward to seeing if your houses will start getting cleaner now. <laughs> wow. Thank you, SolveBot. Oh, oh my goodness. Going. I think SolveBot like zoned out when you were talking about the toilets. <laughs> That's insane. No, but congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, Felix. Oh, well, thanks, guys. It's, thanks. My sucking up didn't work. I guess there's no way to fool SolveBot. 
It's not every oh. day that a guest beats us on our own podcast. Like think- we are meant to be the solve guys, but <laughs> Felix, you're definitely a solve guy now. I think it's the first time that we've lost, all- lost to a guest. So well done. Oh, really? Yep. Nah, can't be. Definitely this season. This season, <laughs> oh, this it's season, a, the first yeah. loss. Solve bots, first right. choice. That, that wasn't us. Yeah. Well done. Nice. Well, I we're, think we're, we're all solve guys. Mm-hmm. I'm th- thinking maybe Solvebot was a Felix Zemdegs fan because yeah, you know, she knew all I'm about your sure she's Master a Felix of the Cube uh, <laughs> websites and all your history. So she's obviously like trying to impress you or court you or whatever you want to say. But whoa, like, whoa. Not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Seems pretty, uh, pre- seems pretty objective to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. In terms of the criteria. So yep. don't know what you're on about. Well, that's uh, it. Household um, chores solved for com- Completely <laughs> solved. Yeah. Uh, join us again next time where we solve the age-old problem of why it is that Felix Zemdex does not have a driving license yet. Um, <sighs> even though he <laughs> has been an, an adult for so long. For um, what, like, you're coming up on, I want to say 35 next month? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, f- f- 55. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I can't wait to hear the solutions. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to, maybe we can get some actual help for you. If anyone in the comments has some advice yeah. for Felix, what should he do to get his driver's license? Well, well, well that's actually the your, your prize today. Coming in the mail is my first learner's um, driving, <laughs> driving book. We have actually, <laughs> uh, we found a guy that does fake licenses. So yeah, we've got a right. plagiarized document done up for you. It'll be in the <laughs> in two weeks. Uh, thank you again, Felix. Um, please show him your appreciation in the comments. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll catch you next time. I think it's safe to say problem, problem solved. solved.